Jennifer Dorkerty never bothered anyone. The 30-year-old lived an unassuming life in the small town of Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, which is approximately 45 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Dorkerty was mentally disabled and as a result did not have many friends. Tragically, the people she did consider friends wound up torturing her for 36 hours and subjecting her to one of the most gruesome deaths in American history. According to the suspect Melvin Knight, he was 20 years old when Dorkerty's body was found stuffed inside a trash can in the parking lot of Greensburg Cellar Middle School on February the 11th, 2010. The ordeal started when Dorkerty began playfully flirting with 23-year-old Ricky Smearns. This did not go over well with Ricky's girlfriend, 17-year-old Angelo Marinucci. Also offended was Knight's pregnant girlfriend, 20-year-old Amber Maintinger. Maintinger lashed out at Dorkerty before smashing her head against the wall. This act only became more violent as Marinucci and Smearns hit Dogherty with a crutch while Maindinger kicked and stomped on Dogherty's stomach. The wounded Dogherty was bound with Christmas decorations and forced to ingest vegetable oil, various cooking spices, urine, feces, laundry detergent and several medications. The group, which was at some point enlarged thanks to the presence of 36-year-old Robert Lauren Masters Jr. and 27-year-old Peggy Darley Miller, forced Dogherty to write a suicide note before they shaved her head. Dogherty eventually died after several people in the group took turns at stabbing her. The callousness of the suspects rocked Westmoreland County investigators. During his tape confession, Knight told detectives that at one point he asked Jennifer if she wanted to die. When she answered in the negative, Knight asked her, well, why are you letting us do this? While listening to this and other portions of his confession that recounted how he and Smyrn stabbed Dogherty in the chest, Knight laughed out loud in court. Beginning in August 2011, sentences were handed down to the Greensburg Six. Marinucci was found guilty of first degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. Knight was convicted of first and second degree murder, along with kidnapping and conspiracy to commit murder and kidnapping. He received the death penalty. Knight appealed his sentence several times, but his punishment was finally upheld in 2019. Smyrns was also given the death penalty by Maidinger, Masters, and Miller received lengthy prison sentences ranging from 30 to 80 years.